On iPhone or iPad, you either pay $2 for a text tone or ringtone, you just buy it from the iTunes tone store and then use it. Or you can be creative and in less than five minutes, create your own for free. Let me show you how. You can have fun sounds like Super Mario Gold Coin sound effect as your text tone. Hey, listen. Trust me, this will be so easy, your grandpa, grandma or parents can pull it off. You first need to download from the App Store, Garage Band, in the Shortcuts app. Both are free. Now that you have both apps installed in the iPhone or iPad in your hands, think of what sound or song you might want to have as a ringtone. I highly recommend no more than one or two seconds for a text tone because it can get really annoying if they keep coming. And then on ringtone, I have something like the Golden Eye theme song on the watch. You let me know in the comment section below, what is your ringtone or text tone? I will show you the Mario Gold Coin sound for a text tone example. You search on YouTube for Mario Gold Coin sound, find the video you like, and now we're going to record it on our iPhone screen to capture the sound and then convert it to audio. So we can use that video's sound for our ringtone or text tone. You can slide down from the top right down corner of your iPhone to pull down control center or up if you have an older iPhone with no face ID. And if the recording icon is in there, then quickly go to settings and control center to turn on the quick screen recording access setting. Once you tap the screen record button, you will wait three seconds. That's enough time to get rid of Control Center by swiping up on Face ID devices or down on non-Face ID devices and hit play on your YouTube video. So start recording and don't worry about recording exactly the length of sound that you want since you will be able to trim it and cut to your liking in GarageBand later. To stop the recording, hit the record button again. Once you're done recording, what you want don't worry about the length as I mentioned, you'll be able to edit that later. It will be saved to your photos library as a video. Now, go ahead and open shortcuts. We need it to convert the video you recorded to audio so it can be used as a ringtone. So use the shortcuts link that I shared in the description that creates the shortcut to convert video to audio so you don't have to do it from scratch. Once you do that, you will be able to go to the Photos app and press and hold the video you recorded and select the Share option. Here, scroll down and find the name of the shortcut that I shared with you. Tap it and it will ask you where in files it wants to say you want to save the file. This just means the memory of your phone or cloud. Where is it going to be saved at? I recommend your iPhone and find the on my iPhone or iPad section and save it there. It does say open on the top right hand corner instead of save, but it means saving it there. So don't worry. Now that you have saved the audio file, go to GarageBand, open it and select the microphone audio recorder instrument as per default, or tap the plus icon on the top right hand corner. Now, tap the third option from the top left, the one next to the squares that has rectangles. Here, tap the loop on the top right corner left of the cog icon and select the files tab. As you can see here, your imported files are going to be here, but it's gonna be empty for you. I already have the Super Mario Gold Coin file and the GoldenEye file. You won't, as for example. We need to import the audio file that we converted using the Shortcuts app. So select Browse Items from the Files app and if your audio file isn't showing up on the Recents tab, then go to the Browse tab at the bottom and look for On My iPhone to locate the audio file. Tap the audio file once you have found it and it will import it into GarageBand. Now grab and drag the audio file into the audio instrument timeline, which is the microphone line thingy on the left. It'll be blue rectangle showing how long your audio file is. Once it is here, you can trim the areas you don't want to have or cut them, 
you can make it a text tone because you probably recorded five to 10 seconds for your text tone. You need to cut it down to one to two seconds. Now that you have the length you want it to be, you need to hit first the icon on the top left corner, which is the down facing arrow. This will say my song or something like similar like that. And that will save your music project as they call it. Now press and hold the music project file and select share. Here you can see the three options and you want to choose ringtone, which will either first show you that the ringtone needs to be trimmed to 30 seconds and it will do it for you after you select continue or it will just go directly to the window where you choose where to save it to by giving it a name if it doesn't have one already and where to save it to. By default, it will do the correct one, which is your ringtones folder. Hit export on the top right hand corner, then go to your ringtone menu section in settings and sound and ringtones, and it will be there at the bottom. Select it and enjoy the fact that you just saved $2 and maybe more because you were going to do more ringtones with time. You're not the kind of person that just sits there and has one ringtone for four or five years, right? Nothing wrong with paying for these things because some people don't want to do this extra work and that's fine. Plus, I guess you can debate. Let me know what you think. Should we pay for these? Are they overpriced or what are your thoughts on it? Because it's just a dollar and 30 cents or so, right? Two dollars. They don't even do the McDouble anymore. So is it really that much? I'll let you decide that. But what I would appreciate if you can support the channel, if you like this guide and you need any help, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe, hit the like and the bell so you can notify when videos like these come out. And if you have any ideas, let me know in the comment section below. I'm in World 7, your host at Richard Rich Labs. And I hope you have fun making your phone, iPhone, more unique. If you're interested in themes, let me know. And depending on the comments and the poll that I'll run on my channel, I'll make a video on that. Until next time, I'm in World 7, your host at Richie Rich Labs. Sayonara.